Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk today about the Battle of Incheon. That battle was the turning point of the Korean War. At the start of the Korean War, the North Koreans were winning battle after battle after battle, and they pushed the UN forces, largely U.S. and South Korean forces, but forces from other countries as well. They pushed the UN forces back to the, a perimeter called the Pusan Perimeter. And the only two cities that, major South Korean cities that didn't fall under North Korean control during the Korean War were Daegu and Busan. And the U.S. and U.N. forces were holding the North Koreans at the Busan perimeter, but they needed a counterattack to, they needed to invade, they needed a counterattack, and they were holding on at the Busan perimeter, but they couldn't counterinvade there. So General MacArthur picked the town of Incheon, and the chances of it succeeding was 5,000 to 1, but MacArthur didn't let the odds convince him. Okay, the odds were so great of it not succeeding that the Joint Chiefs of Staff argued against it, and they threatened to um, fire MacArthur or make him resign if he went through with it. But MacArthur was not deterred, and he established the 10th Corps, and Army General General Allman was its commander. And with the 10th Corps, it was mostly U.S. Marines but also the U.S. Army 7th Infantry Division was part of the 10th Corps as well, but it was mostly U.S. Marines. And U.S. Marines did not trust General MacArthur, and he didn't have the best relationship with them, but despite that, General MacArthur chose to um, use predominantly the U.S. Marines for this invasion because he knew they were going to be efficient in um, winning the Battle of Incheon. Okay, the main factor was the tides. Okay, the tides, if they were too low, the ships would be beached. The landing, the LSTs, the landing ships would be beached, okay? If they were too high, the soldiers couldn't get out of the ship. So the only time where the tides could, were, were just the right height were September 15th, September 17th, and October 11th, okay? So General MacArthur chose to uh, go to invade on September 15th. The first area that the U.S. Marines took was Walmido, and that was an island off Incheon, and there were no U.S. casualties. That's how efficient the U.S. Marines were. Also, as I pointed out in previous videos, the British Marines uh, established a landing at Gunsan, and they were trying to create a diversion where the North Koreans thought the main invasion was at Gunsan and not Incheon, and it worked. And, like I said, MacArthur, the, it, MacArthur, 5,001 chance of it not succeeding, but it succeeded, and the t they timed the tides just right. Um, in addition, the there was a U.S. Naval Intelligence Officer, Eugene Clark, and he uh, did a lot of intelligence and reconnaissance, which really helped. There was also a team of Korean secret agents and Korean Special Forces, South Koreans, who had fled North Korea. And the I'm not going to talk about that just because go see the movie Operation Chromite. That really touches on that, and, and Liam Neeson played General MacArthur. That really tells a good story, um, and I highly recommend that movie. I own that movie on Blu-ray, and I let Operation Chromite tell that story, and it's an excellent, excellent film. And the, also the French Navy was there. They had a ship called the Le Grandier, and they provided a lot of shore bombardment in the, in the Battle of Incheon. And the Americans won a decisive battle in the Battle of Incheon. The U.S. Marines pushed forward, and they conquered Seoul. Five, or they didn't conquer Seoul. Let me rephrase that. They liberated Seoul. They liberated Seoul five days later, and they, um, like I said, they liberated Seoul five days later. And MacArthur wanted to liberate Seoul as quickly as possible because it would have been a big morale defeat for the North Koreans if um, the South Korean capital was liberated. And the and the also the Eighth Army, commanded by General Walton Walker, they were at the Pusan perimeter, and that Battle of Incheon also weakened North Korean reinforcements. That the U.S. Army was able to push um, the North Korean Army from their defensive positions in the Pusan perimeter, and also the North Koreans made a huge mistake. They didn't mine the Incheon Harbor, and the U.S. Marines were able to land with extreme ease. So it was a bad North Korean defeat, and it was, um, and God bless General MacArthur and all the South Korean, U.S., French forces, and the British forces for all they did for making the Battle of Incheon uh, possible. So, anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye bye. Bye bye.